And the Roadrunners win it 54-52, Stu Paul, along with Luby Laconsa. Congratulations, Luby, and this is what you're looking for out of all your players, especially Tisha. Blocking out, that was the key. Three offensive rebounds down the stretch for Smith, following up on her own missed shot, and I know you're happy as well as relieved right now. Congratulations as the four-game losing streak is now over. That was a great effort, not only on Tisha's part, but on everybody. Um, Sarah Anastasieska came in and played like I knew she could. So we need more of that from her. But again, I thought it was outstanding defense. To hold this team to 52 points is absolutely incredible. So our defense has picked up. We're getting there defensively. And offensively, we're starting to figure out what, what our identity is. And we're taking advantage of that. So I'm very pleased with our team. Uh, very pleased uh, with our offensive rebounding effort. Uh, we, we got 11. I didn't like that we gave up 14 to them. That, I think, kept them in the ball game. Uh, so uh, we got to shore that up, especially against Middle Tennessee, because they're uh, an incredible offensive rebounding team. You're right. I mean, Deanna Kuzmanik, the fine freshman, came through with a couple of threes early on in the second half, but the defense never wavered couple of forced passes that led to some turnovers, but UAB could not capitalize all the time. And the Roadrunners came through, and Sarah Anastasiaska could not make the Texas road trip, but after the last three games when she couldn't play, played as if she never missed a game. And you're right, I mean, some of the shots that she had, good screen sets, especially by Tisha Smith, and she was able to get off some good shots. And you're right, her best performance as a roadrunner, second time that she's had double figures in scoring the season. Uh, outstanding. I, I think I'm going to have to copy that formula, give everyone <laughs> a two-week off break, and then when they can come in, they'll, they'll shoot the lights out. So she is a tremendous offensive player and uh, just lacked a little confidence early, which happens with freshmen. But uh, with her performing like this, we expect this every game. Even though she played well in the third quarter, you did a good job again on Chelsea Black. She had been averaging just under 19 points over her last three games coming into tonight's action. And you did a good job against her. And again, with the double teaming, especially around the top of the key of the wings, I really thought the defense did a great job, especially when the Blazers had trouble setting up their own shots from the outside. Well, she did get 13. She did hit a couple of uh, pull-ups, but uh, we, we took away what she liked to do. And, and again, it's not just one person. It's our team that does that. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm pleased with our team defense. I'm, I'm pleased with how we're coming around. And uh, it, we can't uh, celebrate too much nope. because we got to get ready for middle. And middle uh, took it to this team pretty good. Uh, we played them at their place. Uh, I think we cut it to about five in the second half, but then they, they got away from us. So, so they're a very powerful team, a very strong team, and I look forward to us uh, uh, doing a great job against them. And you're doing a good job with the screens. You've been working on that, the screen of rolls, especially Tisha just breaking in down in the paint on the baseline. And again, even when she missed a shot, she kept her points with her rebounding, and her confidence level certainly was up. And again, you'd like to see more out of that, especially with Middle Tennessee, as you said, coming in, and that's still two days away. Well, uh, we're going to need that. We're going to need that offensive rebounding effort from Middle um, because they kill you at the other end, offensive rebounding. So we're going to have to combat that and get some of that back at the other end. But uh, I'm looking forward to the game and looking forward to uh, how we uh, respond after this win. Luby LaConsac, congratulations on the win. Go get them against Bill, Tennessee, this Saturday, January 9th at 2 p.m. And uh, thanks, as always, for your time. And hopefully it will be the start of something big. Congratulations on the first win in Conference USA play. Go ahead. Uh, real quickly, just would like to uh, give a big shout-out to uh, our football coach, Coach Coker, has stepped down. Uh, tremendous gentleman, very big supporter of our women's basketball program. People may not know, but he started out being a girls' high school basketball coach up in Oklahoma. Uh, we wish him the very best. Uh, started the football programs. Such a huge thing for UTSA, and, and we'll miss him. We'll definitely miss him. He did a great job, had some great years at University of Miami and here in San Antonio. Thanks again, Coach. Thanks, Steve.
Libby Lukasek, the head coach of the UTSA Roadrunners, who finally stopped a four-game losing streak tonight here at the friendly confines of the Convocation Center. The final score, 54-52, as Tisha Smith getting the rebound of her missed shot with less than a second to go. So the Roadrunners are now 5-8, and 1-2 and two in Conference USA play. And don't forget this coming Saturday, January 9th, when the Roadrunners take on the Blue Raiders of Middle Tennessee. If you can come out to the Convocation Center, tickets are available by calling the Roadrunners at 210-458-UTSA or go online to GoUTSA.com, and you can also go online to GoUTSA.com with the next broadcast. I'll have the play-by-play at 2 p.m. Central Time, preceded by the pregame show, which will get underway at 1.45 p.m. So for Luby Lukasek, this is Stu Paul saying good night for the Convocation Center. Once again, the final score, it was UTSA 54, UAB 52. You've been listening to a presentation of Roadrunner Basketball. Go UTSA.com. You make it a great night. See you this Saturday from the Convocation Center. You make it a great night.